What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can upload the ISO file in your Proxmox server. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, open up your browser and here you can see my Proxmox login. Now using the username and password, you have to log in to your Proxmox dashboard. So this is my Proxmox dashboard. And here you can see I have already created two virtual machine or VM. This 100 ID is Ubuntu desktop and 101 is Ubuntu server. So now to upload any ISO file, you have to select your LVM or any hard drive. Here I'm going to use this local drive. Then from here, you have to select the ISO image. And here you can see here I have two ISO file. To upload any ISO file, you have to use this button. And if you want to download any ISO file from the internet, you have to use the download from URL. So let me show you how you can use this download from URL option. So today we are going to download the Debian net install ISO file. So take another tab and search on Google Debian ISO. Then go to this first website debian.org slash download. And here you can see we have couple of options to download the ISO file. Now from here you have to copy the ISO file link. Then you have to get back to your Proxmox server and click on download from URL and paste that URL here. Then click on query URL. And here you can see it automatically fetch the name of the ISO file. Then click on download and you should get this type of pop-up where you can see the ISO file is downloading. It's going to take some time. So we're not going to download this ISO file right now. Now to upload any ISO file from your local hard drive, click on upload, then click on select file. Then open up any of your drive where you keep your ISO file. And from here, you can select any of your ISO file, whatever you want to upload on your Proxmox server. So I'm going to select this TrueNAS ISO file, then click on open, then click on upload and it should start uploading the ISO file into your Proxmox server. While the uploading has been completed, you will get the ISO file listing here. And now you can easily create the VM or virtual machine using the Proxmox with that ISO file. So guys, like this, you can easily get your ISO file into your Proxmox server. You can locally upload it or also you can download it from the internet. So that's all for today. Thanks for your watching.